What's up you guys, Adam, AKA Sensi Flipper here. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. It's only gonna focus on one purchase, but this one purchase is probably one of the, actually not probably, this is the best find I have ever found for the video game collection. Just to elaborate a little bit on this, um, I go over it in earlier videos. One of the main reasons that I resell things is I am trying to amass a in, an insane retro video game and modern video game collection. Best way to do that, go to the thrift stores, go to the Ben stores, go to yard sales, and try to find video games while you're there, but also find things to resale to fund purchases. So one of my more recent goals has been um, as complete as I can get an N64 collection. Um, I started with the cartridges, this cool great N64 is my favorite console of all time. It brings me right back to my childhood. It's what got me into video games. So I decided I wanted to go for a complete run, finding in box games whenever I can. I kind of made that goal two days before this ad popped up on Facebook Marketplace. Now, as you'll see the first picture, if I can get, if I get it centered, if not, my hand is just gonna be sitting here for no reason, but enjoy my poster. Um, the first picture, it's just the system and a controller, which that con controller is pretty cool. But if you swipe over to the second picture, this made me instantly click on it because you can see the price, $85, taxes, shipping, all of that, I ended up spending $96 on everything in those pictures. Let's get to the unboxing video to show you everything that came with this awesome Facebook Marketplace deal. All right, so here is the box. You see, I already opened it just to verify everything was in there, that the games actually showed up. Let's dig in and see what came in the box. So most important piece to making my money back on this deal already, the N64 console, I already have one. I have extra gray controllers uh, to pair with it and then some extra games to go go with it. Jumper pack, all that's ready to go. Um, console's in good shape. It came with the expansion pack. I already pulled that, swapped it out with an extra jumper that I had because the expansion pack uh, sells for about $40, $50 on its own. And I already have one for my personal 64. So between that and the console, there's my money back already. The console's in really, really clean condition. Usually you get kind of junk up front here. There's a little bit of scratching, but great condition console. The controllers that came with it, I'm gonna keep for myself because I just have a couple basic gray ones and I really kind of want the different colors. So we got a solid blue and then really cool controller that I actually hadn't seen before. I think I knew it existed, but a really good thumbsticks. We've got the electric green, I think is what it's called. I'm not sure. And it looks more yellow because I can't see colors very well. Um, so this one's really cool. This apparently sells for about $60, $70 on its own, so if I were to sell it, that'd be another big chunk of my money back, but I'm gonna keep it because it's a unique color. And then it came with the power cables, AV cables, everything. Um, so the console's good to go. That's ba that's my money back right there. All right, next, so the only game that didn't come with its original box was Star Fox 64. Really clean label on that. A Couple of little sticker residue on the side, looks like maybe it was used from GameStop or something, but um, this one's actually increased in value a little bit lately because it's not, I believe there's a player's choice edition of this as well. Get to focus it all. Anyway, um, but I think this is about a $20, $30 game now. So we'll get to the games in a second. Something I didn't know existed, I, ex I didn't put two and two together and realize you could buy expansion packs just on their own. I thought they just came with games. But complete in box, expansion pack, it's got a little gunk on the front, but for what I paid, I'll take it. It's got the inserts and got the little, in case you didn't know what this is for, they come with this little clip. Need to focus at all. A little bit, but this helps you take the jumper pack or expansion pack out of the console. So that's a pretty cool little bonus. I forgot that that came I forgot that that even existed. So that's just kind of a cool little piece to add on there. All right, so for the game. So first off, we have Perfect Dark, complete in box, manual, everything. Box is in really good condition. That's the thing with most of these. I think that they were opened and the boxes put away because most of these boxes are in 
fantastic condition. There's a couple of issues with some of them and I'll show it, but about as good as you can ask for for something from late 90s, early 2000s. Uh, next one, Jet Force Gemini. I didn't have this one yet. I've actually never played this. I've heard it's pretty good. But that box is in really good condition as well. This one is complete. Then first one with a little bit of issue, we got Cruisin' World. A little bit of bend and tear there at the top. Then the green cartridge Battle Tank Global Assault. That is complete as well. Has a little bit of box issues, but again, I am not going to complain for free after I sell the console and the cartridges and all that. Next up, we have probably the worst condition box. It is Star Wars Episode One: Battle for Naboo. Looks like it has a little bit of crushing there on the side, but I have protective cases that'll still make the, it'll still present very, very well on the shelf. I've never played this one. I played the next Star Wars game. Oh, and then the other thing that's on the manual is a little water warped, but again, not going to complain. This is an awesome. This is actually a fairly expensive game for it being Star Wars. I think it's like cartridge only is in like 30, 40, 50 bucks. So getting that box or completing box is really cool. Uh, next one, classic, spent hours and hours and hours playing this one, Pod Racer Episode 1. I mean, if you had a 64, you had this game. Incredible, great condition box, a little bit of tearing there from some tape it looks like, but very cool, complete as well. Then the first, this is the first one without the manual, so I have to try to find that somewhere. But the Player's Choice Edition of 007, again, another one that if you had a 64, you had this game. Many hours playing one one kill, rockets only, snipers all amazing stuff. The label is incredible on this. This is another one that I had the cartridge already, so I'll be able to sell off the other copy and get a little bit of money back from that. Next up we have Spider-Man. Complete in box. We have the red. If you can't see it now. It's got the red cartridge. This is one of probably my favorite box arts from all of this. So this will go on like the main display shelf just because I like comic books, Spider-Man, all that good stuff. But I can't wait to play this one. I've never played this one, and it was complete. Next up, we have another one of my favorites growing up, Mario Tennis. It has a little bit of that water something issue on the front that the expansion pack had, um, it, and it is missing the manual as well. But the box, it still presents pretty well. So I'm very happy to add that one. And then lastly, if you saw the picture on Instagram or you studied the thumbnail for this video, you saw this and got very excited, about as excited as I was. Super Smash Brothers. It is missing the manual, but I have one on order to make this complete in box. This is a complete in box. This is about a $200 to $300 game. So very excited for that one. Unfortunately, a little bit of water damage again, but check out the, this is the cleanest label I've ever seen. And I did, I did open the big ones already just to, like, I opened this one just to make sure it is authentic. But check out that label. That is clean. Which is really nice because my current Smash Brothers is not. It is disgusting and terrible. I love it, but it's gonna go. All right, so that's gonna do it for the unboxing. I'm gonna get these guys and their protective cases, throw them on the game wall, and we'll be right back. All right, so it's a couple days later. I finally got around to getting those games in boxes. Here's what the game shelf looks like now. I've got all my PlayStation stuff lined up there, a couple of randoms in the middle, and then all my Nintendo over here. So these are the those complete in box games. The ones that I had before uh, that bought that Facebook Marketplace buy was NBA Live 2000, NASCAR 2000, and Majora's Mask. So this definitely helped put a dent in that a little bit. Um, got them all set up there with my complete in box Game Boy, the Japanese expansion pack, and then just the other, some of my other favorites, um, all the Mario's from GameCube. And then the, this is my cartridge only collection here. This is uh, Domino's, no. All right, it's one I really hope to add. All right, I need a new Yoshi story now. But that's one I really hope to add sometime soon is Paper Mario and the stacks there, my SNES, and then the Zelda. The Zelda runs coming together nicely. This is my main goal to get this set complete in box, but I still have a little ways to go on that. 
but I am extremely happy with that purchase and the way it's looking on the shelf is amazing. So let's go wrap up. So guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I know I haven't showcased the video game collection a lot, but like I said, it's one of the biggest reasons I got into reselling so I could amass that awesome collection and keep it growing. Um, if you want to see more on the video game stuff, or if you'd like to see videos just about video game hunting and kind of the strategies I use to find these things, just let me know. Um, I'll, I can try to do some more specific videos on that kind of stuff. And like always, like, comment, subscribe really helps the channel grow. Until then, see you guys. Bye.